Well, good morning. Today we are in Jaipur. We're visiting the pink city. Neither of us is wearing pink. No, oh we, we, yeah, we were color coordinated for Jodhpur, the blue yeah. city, but yeah. I don't think we have anything pink in our wardrobe. Nothing pink, maybe sorry we'll, guys. Maybe we'll pick something up today as a souvenir. <laughs> um, but yeah, today we have signed up for a full day tour from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And it's basically a bus tour that's going to be taking us yeah. to the main highlights in Jaipur. So, busy day. Um, we don't have a lot of time in Jaipur. And this is a city I visited several years ago. And I did this tour. And attractions are really spread out here. So, I think this is going to be a good way for us to, to see everything along with my parents. And yeah, we, don't, we only have one really full day to do this. Yeah. So. We are trying to cram in a lot today. So yeah, let's get started. All right, the bus is here, let's go. So we are finally off the bus. We drove around for about an hour picking up people. A little longer than I was expecting. And we have arrived at our first stop. It is... Lakshmi Narayan Temple, a bit of a complicated name, and we only have 15 minutes here, so gotta run around and visit this quickly. <laughs> also known as Birla Mandir, this is a Hindu temple dedicated to Vishnu and Lakshmi. While Hindu deities are depicted inside the temple, the outside walls showcase figures from different faiths. So this first stop was quite rushed. We had 15 minutes, but they force you to leave your shoes outside and pay for them. So it's like five minutes to drop them off because there's a really long line. Then maybe five minutes to actually visit the temple. And then another five minutes to collect your shoes and rush back to the bus. So yeah, I hope the whole day isn't like this. But yeah, I'm not too impressed so far. So Sam paid to go into the temple. Well, actually, I, I, I just had to pay for my. He paid for the rental. shoes. Yeah, so one rupee didn't exactly break the bank. Yeah, what but did yeah, you think of it? It was it was an interesting temple. It's really large, obviously marble and white. Mm -hmm. And uh, inside, you can't take photos or videos, so unfortunately, I can't show you what it's like inside. <laughs> womp womp. We then hopped back on the bus, drove past the Albert Hall Museum, and continued to the next stop on our itinerary, Jantar Mantar. The name Jantar Mantar translates to calculating instrument and it is a collection of 19 structures that date back to the 18th century. These instruments were used to predict eclipses, track stars and measure time. So we are currently visiting Jantar Mantar and we're having a bit of a hard time keeping up with our guide but from what we gather this is basically like an observatory and it was used to track the movements of stars and planets and the sun and to study everything related to astronomy so there's a lot of like really cool instruments they're like these weird constructions so we're going to show you some of that is there a guide around From there it was just a short walk to the city palace. Like most of the city, the palace is also painted pink, which is the color of hospitality. This was done in 1876 to welcome the Prince of Wales and Queen Victoria when they did their India tour. Inside the palace complex, you can visit a museum and the armory or just walk around snapping photos. So Sam ditched the tour group to go shopping. I did because I've been like in the past I collected hats and I still do. But these days I'm collecting polo shirts and India has the coolest polo shirts. This is like the um, Jaipur. Jaipur different colors. I saw the, a very similar shirt of like an old uh, polo shirt in one of the museums. Okay. It looks so much like this. So I'm really happy to get this color for one. And then of um. course Jeep, Jeepur, Jaipur is the pink city. city. So, ooh la la. I can't wait to do this. <laughs> so I've already got Jodhpur and yeah, I'm gonna keep collecting them. Hopefully I can get one in Calcutta as well. That's gonna be coming up soon. <laughs> so we have ditched the guide for now, but he knows we're gonna meet him at the exit and this is so much better. We're just walking around freely, enjoying the city palace and check out these colors. Everything is pink and outlined with white designs. It's really, really cool. So yeah, I'm having a good time, even if I'm not enjoying the tour, necessarily. We have ended up at a place called Shopping Paradise. 
I'm pretty sure we're only here because the guide gets a commission, so he's trying to force everyone to come in, even though some people have already been shopping. So, yeah, not impressed. So we are now at the Jaigar Fort. This is again a very quick visit. So we basically have 20 minutes to see as much as we can. Uh, you get some pretty cool views of the area, but the landscape is quite barren. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna have a quick walk around. From the Jaigar Fort, it was a short drive to Nahargar Fort and Palace. I wish I could tell you we got to see a bit of the palace, but as you've probably already noticed, the theme of the day was rush, rush, rush. So we grabbed a quick bite of food and carried on. Hungry. I am. So we got pao baji. I think that's what it's called. I'm guessing the pao comes from the Portuguese influence. Pao is bread in Portuguese. And, and the pao came with cheese. That came with cheese. I think. Some of this. I don't even know what this is, but it's got melted cheese on top. Like, should I add some red onions? Sure. I'm gonna have some onion breath all day, and Sam's sitting next to me, so... Lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Tasty? It's like a sloppy joe. <laughs> Indian sloppy joe. Indian sloppy joe. Mm. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. So we just finished lunch, and now we're visiting the Nahargar Fort and Palace. We're just wandering around aimlessly, because the guide has disappeared again. We didn't want to eat at the restaurant he was taking us to. Um, cause it was really expensive, so we had a uh, fast food instead. Um, and yeah, right now we're visiting one of the old step wells, and it's pretty cool. People would have had to like climb down the stairs to go fetch water. You can see that behind me. And yeah, we only have a few more minutes left here, so we're gonna try and see as much as we can before we, we move on. But the tour is almost over. I think we only have like two or three more stops for today, and then that's it. We then hopped back on the bus to go visit our third fort of the day, the Amber Fort. On the way down, we got a quick glimpse at Jal Mahal, the lake palace, which sits in the middle of Mansagar Lake. We noticed there were men with rowboats, so if you visit with a bit more time, that's an activity to consider. Next stop of the day is the Amber Fort. It's a little backlit at the moment, but there you have it in the background, and there's Sam taking some photos. What do you think? This is your second time here. Well, we've been to quite a few forts today, so we decided not to take a jeep all the way up. Instead, mm -hmm. we noticed there's some nice light coming down from the ground level yeah. and from the lake. So here we are. We're exploring it this way instead. By foot! <laughs> Making friends, Audrey? Yes, always. Who's this? My new friend, my pup. Hello, fur buddy. Hello, pup. Hello, fur friend. Hello, fur friend. Fur friend is feeling shy at the moment. Hello, fur friend. Hello. 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 Hello, fur friend. The rest of the day went downhill quickly when our guide started making commission-based shopping stops that weren't on the itinerary. So we just stopped filming, but we got back into Jaipur well after dark. Well, it is now time to wrap up our time in Jaipur. Yeah, so confession time, we're actually in Agra right now. Whoops, uh, got on a train yesterday. Got on the train yesterday. <laughs> uh, the day after our tour, we just chilled out. We didn't film at all because the yeah. tour was kind of exhausting. It was, really it really was. It really was. It just ended up going on for an hour and a half longer than it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. And it was already a long tour. And so. it was mostly shopping stops at the end. Yeah, so like in terms of, because there's all of the different forts are so spread out, it's, it's not a bad way to see them, but at the same time you are very rushed. 
and you go to so many different places, I almost think doing it independently would be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. That would be our tip. But anyways, yeah, the adventures here in Agra are about to begin, so do follow us for that. Bye!